having children when you are married, ladies, is a lot different than having children when you're not married. <laughs> further ado if you've watched my videos you know what i'm about to say before i play any video you know what we're gonna do say it with me y'all we're gonna roll that clip 15 13 12 and 10 all by the same man yes i was married okay when'd you get divorced i've been divorced for 12 years now 12 years you got very young? I did. Okay, so now this is different. And see, ladies, I want you to pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. Having children while you're married is different than having children when you're not married. I'm going to say that again. Having children when you are married, ladies, is a lot different than having children when you're not married. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due. At least this woman got married before she had children. Raven, what are oh, you telling me? What's your zodiac sign? I am an Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. So Raven, Riley, North Carolina, 35, mom to five, all by her ex-husband. Um, she's a loan signing agent, and she's once passed away from her real estate license. Um, and Riley, North Carolina, Aquarius. Yes. Yes. What, um, 35. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for a God-fearing man, a man that goes to God about me. Stop it. Get some help. Um, our family that we create, someone that loves my children, someone that's all into me, someone that's loyal, someone that can communicate and comprehend, um, someone that I could just, that could just be my safe place. I could just like let all my guards down and just like, just be my safe place. Basically, she wants a guy that goes to church, prays to Jesus. Or maybe he can be Islamic or Nation of Islam, but she's looking for a religious man. And I'm interested to see what she expects. Um, I'm looking for someone that makes over a hundred. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Yeah, here comes the delusion. Now, you want a man that makes over 100K. And if you've been a subscriber or you're following my channel for at least longer than a month, you already know where I'm going to go with this. But just in case you're new here, welcome. Do you know the statistical data for men that make over 100K a year? Let, let's start at the base. 100K a year, 8% of men make 100K a year, 8%. And as you go up, that percentage goes down. So what we're saying here is that you can want what you want, but you can only buy what you can afford. Now, keep in mind, you have five children. So you already are coming out of the gate with five children. You're not making a lot of money. That's five children that you're expecting another man to take care of. Do you want more kids? I will settle for one more, one or two. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, you need to close the shop down, ma'am. You already, what are you, what are you trying to do, raise a village? Like, I know it takes a village to raise a child, but you already have five children. How many more children are you trying to have? More. One or two more. So do you have five? That means you'll have seven. Yeah. <laughs> He's down for it, okay. Could he have kids already? 
He can. He can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does he have to look a certain way? No, he doesn't. Oh, you don't I'm, care about that. I, I'm five foot tall, so I would like for him to be taller than me. He got to be over six. You're five feet. I know. He has to be over six feet? Yes. Okay. Now you see six feet, six figures. So the only good thing that this woman has is that she had children while she was married. But now that she's back on the dating market, she's an average woman with high standards. You're an average woman with five children and you're expecting a man to hand you the world like Aladdin and Princess Jasmine on that Disney movie. See, a lot of these women out here in the world, they're living a Disney fantasy. They're living a lie. They believe that they can just be the, the damsel in distress and some Prince Charming is just going to roll out, roll out the red carpet and they'll be like, come on down. Asian women don't do this. Latino women, Latino women don't do this. Arabic women don't do this. Indian women don't do this. Middle Eastern women don't do this. How many Indian women do you see calling the Kendra G show? How many Asian women do you see call into Alyssa Dalton show? How many, how many other ethnic women call into these shows? Zero. So the reason why I keep saying black women, black women, black women is because black women are the only ones that are doing this. You said black, that you making the pool really small. I mean, it's, still, it's, it's still a small pool, to be honest. Your child, your ex husband made a hundred k. I'm assuming. Um, yeah, somewhat. Right. Did he? Mm. No. Nope. I, I I can't remember. You was married to him for how many years? We were married for five, but he had a lot of other stuff going on. So you yeah. have five kids behind. You have five kids with him, and you don't know if he made 100K? And see, this this is the other excuse that women do. Well, we were young. They always love to use that young excuse. Well, we were young. Things change. Ladies, when you're in a relationship, you're supposed to change with your partner. You're supposed to grow with your partner. You're supposed to blossom and and do different things and grow and learn and do all of this together. But a lot of these average women with high standards, once they go back out on the dating market, it's like they just lose their minds and they don't know which way is up. So anyway, y'all, that's been it for the video. Thank you all for tuning in. Hit that like button, share the video, and I will see you on Friday. Peace.